thanks for coming back to the channel. Today, where it's Mega Drive Monday, and I realised I have not played all the Shinobis. I've done Revenge of Shinobi, and I've done Shinobi 3. Now, I don't know if Revenge of Shinobi is the second one or the first one, but there is also Shadow Dancer, the secret of the Shinobi. Now, this, I think, was came out after Revenge of Shinobi, but it's more like the arcade version. There was an arcade game which I remember playing in the arcades, and I think this was the port for the Mega Drive version. So that's what I think what this game is. But I ain't great at Shinobi games. I just they're very it's like same as Ninja Gaiden. I, I just get killed far too easily. So I'm just gonna try and get through as much of it as I can without looking like a total twit. So tonight, for your viewing enjoyment, please sit back, relax, and enjoy. This is Shadow Dancer, Secret of the Shinobi on the Sega Mega Drive. So, Shadow Dancer, Secret of Shinobi. You know, do you know something funny? I've always wondered. We had Revenge of Shinobi and Shinobi 3. What the hell happened to Shinobi 2? And I'm finally think maybe the penny dropped. And is Shinobi 2 actually Shadow Dancer? Or is this actually the first one and Revenge of Shinobi is actually the second one? Either way, in AD 1997. So, not that long ago. New York City, having vanquished the evil Prime Emperor, Neo Zed, Shinobi was not heard from again. His combat ninja skills were not needed in a peaceful world. But a new threat arose. In a reptilian <laughs> reptilian form that lived on vicious instinct alone, the colossal monster moved slowly and quietly and his attack was relentless. The souls unfortunate to live became hostages. Mass panic swept through the streets. It remained only for Shinobi to take action, the ninja of the shadows. His weapons were stealth and quickness of attack, his only allies when facing overwhelming force. Relying on ninja weapons and magic, Shinobi fought on, assisted by his faithful dog. This is the story of their defiance. So, yeah, I do remember a Shadow Dancer game being in the arcade, and he had a dog. So, this is obviously it. But unfortunately, I am very bad at Shinobi games. So, I don't know how long this is going to be, but I'm just going to, well, just try. As we go to Burning Downtown. I do, I do remember this in the arcade. I, rem I remember seeing this in the arcade, and you had to like duck under a lot of shurikens. I wonder if this is the version of the one that I pl would have played in the arcade. All right, first of all, background is cool. It's like um, it's like Castlevania. I don't seem to have a double jump. Um, do I have limited shurikens? Oh, you know what? I noticed there was something... Oh, it's gone a bit east what here. Oh, that guy would have got a shuriken to the face, and I died very easily there. In fact, obviously a very limited amount of hits. Hold on, what? So you can only attack them if you're physically stood up. Aha! See, I remember. Now. Wait, he's getting shot a one-hit kill? What the fuck? Right, okay. Can I set the dog on him, by the way? I just realised I don't actually need... I mean, he shot my foot there. I mean, shooting someone in the fucking foot isn't going to kill him. Let's be perfectly fucking honest. Those dicks gonna jump down on my head? They, they look like they will. By the way, what does the dog actually do? He just kind of just follows you around without actually, um. Right, at least I got past that dickhead. Oh, shit on me. Ugh, oh, for goodness sake. 
Oh shit, yes, I've got magic, haven't I? I completely forgot Shinobi has magic. Right. Okay. Well, that was a very poor attempt at that level. I'm sorry, what? Is this man invincible or something? I don't like this one-hit kill bullshit. That's starting to get on my tits. Okay. I'm not gonna lie, the kind of premise of this is a bit like a Charles Bronson fi film. Oh, frickin' heck. It's all about like the last minute duck, isn't it? it um, there appears to be an earthquake. There's certainly some... This guy thinks he's... Fuck me! One up! Woo! Oh! A fucking cheap shot! Okay, that was a slightly better. A slightly less inept attempt at that level. But I am severely down on lives. Oh my. Oops. <laughs> okay. Do I have it like a dash? No. I thought I'd uh, done enough to do that. Oh shit, why did I select N? Right, start that again. Stop making me stand up when the bullet's over my fucking head. I was holding down the whole... Do I have, like, limited crouch or something? Is that is that, is that what you're telling me, game? Is that is that what you're telling me is the mechanic here? Am I, like, only allowed to crouch for... Fuck. For a very limited amount of time, because if that is the case... This is more like a speed run now. This is legit more like a speed run. Now, now I've got fucking Nobby McFuckface here. There we go. Done it first time. Asshole, I'm just gonna fucking teabag you. Right, we're back to the bonus stage, Red. Right? Previous record was 46 ninjas. Can I beat that? My hand is knackered already. And I've really missed one. I've, on, honestly, I've, I've never seen a shooting, like, or like a shooting game, whereby you're going down. You're always going up, isn't it? Wait, if I, can, I, can I turn my head? It makes it more... 49. Did improve. Did slight, slight improvement of last time. Right. Well, I've got to the level that I got stuck on last time. At least I've got continues and extra lives and all that shit. Yeah, I'm doing a lot better this, this, this go. What was that?
Oh, sugar! I didn't mean to press that. I've just summoned a tornado for no reason. I've pressed the wrong button, and oh well, fine. I'll use this to uh, save the maiden, at least. Oh, sorry, this is as far as I got last time. Right, here we go. Ah, I can deflect all your shurikens with my stick. Legit, I had no idea there was going to be another fucking bullet twat there. Right, okay, let's try that again. Well, that's just it. We, we learn. We learn each time. In it. Yeah, I wasn't expecting that, were you? Not. Oh, shit. It's one of these guys. Fucking materialising ninjas. More materialising ninjas! One hit to kill materialising fucking ninjas, you fuckers. Jesus. Impervious to damage input materialising one hit ninjas. Is anyone else finding the dog utterly useless yet? Because I am. He just kind of just follows you around, but doesn't actually attack anything, which is a bit irritating. Because I was kind of like, you know what? It's like having a fucking. Fucking materializing one hit fucking ninjas again! I don't understand how I can hit them that many times. And that makes absolutely no iota of difference. And yet they are still invincible! Well, they can just fuck off. Go on. Do you like your knees? There we go. Fuckers. Come on, dog. Fucking attack him, then. See, look. Priority fucking hit! I hit him out of the fucking night sky there! Jesus! Do you have to cheat? Is 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 being cheat does, does being a fucking cheat in your remit game? Seriously. Because that is fucking bollocks and those pricks couldn't fuck. I don't understand how one becomes shuriken proof either. This this is fuck this is ass. This is fucking ass. I, I I I I can't emphasize how much I disagree with one hit kill shit. Cause uh, Revenge of Shinobi wasn't like that, was it? Especially when it's getting repeated fucking shurikens to the face. No, 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 you can't, 
have that fucking invincibility one hit death kill fucking hitbox. That's fucking ass. That's that's not clever, that's stupid. I mean, if, if, if materialising homing fucking one-hit death kill ninjas isn't stupid, then fucking sue me, because that is fucking retarded. And you know what, game? I don't, I, I don't have time to fucking satiate your, your, your clear insecurities here. That I'm just going to do this. Go fuck yourselves. That was dumb shit. That was dumb shit and you fucking know it. How many shurikens can one man have in his face? Answer, a lot. And yet, that was kind of hilarious and I never want to do that level again because that was fucking stupid. Oh no, it's a boss level. Oh no, I think the temp is finally gonna... Right, what's, what's going on here? It's a... What? It's Granitas from um, Nightmare. I am Granitas. Feed on you. You know what, Shinobi? It'd be so much easier if you could just fucking run, please. Although that boss, I kind of worked out and done him first time, which I am slightly surprised about. Oh, not another bonus stage. Fine, very well. Shoot the ninjas. Shoot all ninjas. Here they come in their highly irregular pattern, dancing straight through you. With the collision detection accuracy of a dead or alive game. <sighs> oh my, oh my. You hit 42, 42 ninjas. 42 ninjas met their fate at the hand of your shuriken. Statue of Liberty, that's interesting. I just, when I see Statue of Liberty, I do think Ghostbusters, but yeah. What the fuck? What's the actual fuck? Come on now. Right. At least we know those fucking knobs. They're only good for... I'm sorry, what? What, what? I mean, yeah, I'll have the 90 shurikens that are attached to your fucking head, mate, back then, if you don't want it. Don't get it. Don't understand. I thought dogs like catching frisbees anyway. Come on. I've, I, is a dog meant to be useless or am I just not using it right? No, that's just pause. There isn't, there isn't a dog button which I'm missing? No? Man is invincible to all things shuriken. Um, green gimps appeared. What's really starting to fuck me off with this game is there's no checkpoints mid-level. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm not getting. 
particularly further here. Maybe we live in such a, a time of the save state that, that that's what we've become used to. Okay, so at least that fuckwit is it? Oh, hang on, the gimps are back though. Power up. How was I to know who's going to be fucking lying down when I fucking went up there? How the fuck was I to know, huh? Can I just jump straight up onto the? No, I can't. We're gonna get gimps. Yep. literally have no idea what what I'm supposed to be fucking doing on that bit there because and this is what I mean is the, the shinobi I grew up playing was Revenge of Shinobi right and the, I got shot in the foot again fuck sorry the, sorry as I was saying the, the shinobi I grew up with was Revenge of Shinobi and you could do a double jump and you throw your fucking kunai and that's how you dealt when you had these fucking prick it Oh, come on now, game! I jumped over that. Anyway, as I was saying, when you get fucking dickheads like that carrying behind stuff, you used to be able to double jump and throw your shurikens. And that used to be able to take them out. But I don't seem to have that in this version. Which is very, very... Irritating. I don't understand how a bin lead is a one-hit kill! Literally have no fucking idea. Oh, bloody hell. I don't understand how this prick is fucking invincible for a start. I just, I'm just going with there's a lot I don't understand. Can I just fuck that guy off? Stop shooting me in the fucking foot! I'm not Achilles! Oh! That's... Mm. Get seriously fucked off with this now. Oh, there's another one. Oh my god, there's another one! <sighs> I'm getting too old to be doing this. I shouldn't be getting this stress playing a fucking video game. But yes, here I am. I mean, yes, yes, I know, running joke. I'm not good at... I'm not very particularly good at Shinobi game. However, that doesn't allow you to be a fucking cheating dick about it, does it? What hit me there? The guy was lying down on the ground and he was shooting. How did I get hit when I was on the box? Oh, fucking hell. I mean, with some clever editing, it, it could look that I'm actually quite adept at this game, but that would be a huge lie, wouldn't it? Oh, fucking... Those bullets are really starting to piss me off now. If you couldn't tell. So much so, I'm actually becoming very impatient. I'm actually literally just speedrunning through bits. I probably should be taking my time on. I 
don't understand how you meant to kill these fucking pricks. I, I don't get it. I don't understand. I'm at an absolute loss. I'm, I've had to do that, short of using the fucking magic. Which I, I'm guessing... I mean... Okay, okay, I've, I, I've worked out. D don't let the other guy on the screen. Got it. And so, and it's when he's reloading is when you can fuck him up. Right, got it. Understood. Right. Understood. Right. Okay. It's all about memorising. Oh shit! Come on now, game! Where's fucking not blanker rolled off to? Oh shit, it's a trap. You know what? Fuck you. I'm just going to hit my fucking magic. There's a lot of you. You take multiple hits and you also seem to have homing death blade shit. So, you know what? Fuck you. Wait, have I gone the right way? I so wish each hostage was a uh, was a checkpoint. You're telling me I need to. I'm missing a hostage. Okay. Well, what would actually expedite this a little bit more would be as if I don't know the ninja could jump, or could uh, could run. I don't know how to get down. I don't understand how to get down. Um, wait, where did he come from? Game over. You know what? There you go, level three. Level three is absolutely fine. I will, I will take that, but... Is it me? Is that game really hard? Or is it it's just... It's, it's, it's where it's very fucking stressful. Right, so... Shinobi games are very good. They are very, very cool. Ninjas are cool. However, I like the fact you have infinite shurikens. I don't like the fact you can't fucking run. Revenge of Shinobi was what I grew up with. That was my bread and butter. That was my, my ninja game of childhood. This, I think, is the adaptation of the arcade version of it. So I understand that mechanically it is different. But I don't like one hit kill stuff. One hit kill stuff has always been shit. Sh Revenge of Shinobi and even Shinobi 3, you got a health bar. That's that's where it's at. Golden Axe, you have a health bar. Altered Beast, you have a health bar. Streets of Rage, you have a health Am I making my point clear? I don't like the fact one touch and you're dead. That's fucking ass. What's the point of the dog? The dog does nothing. It just, apart from it, just, it just kind of accompanies it and it's like having a fucking Pokemon buddy. But I don't know. You can seem to charge something up the dog flash, but I don't really understand what you're meant to do with the fucking dog. Please, pop it down in the comments. What the fuck are you meant to do with the dog? Because I have no idea. I mean, if you watch the demo here, does the dog just blindly just follow you about? Or does he actually... No, he just barks. He's a fucking motion detection system. That's what he freaking is. Wait, what? So you can make the dog attack things. Thanks, demo. I wish I'd watched the demo before I'd fucking done this. Never mind. Oh, I suppose it leaves me to say if you have come this far, thank you very much for choosing to spend your time with me. If you like this video, please drop a little like. 
Pass subscribe to the channel if you're new, and let me know how to use the fucking dog in Shadow Dancer, because that would be great. Because <laughs> I wish I'd known that before I'd hit record. But yeah, you, know, you know what? It's one and done. The whole point is I am reacting to it because it's the first time I either played it in forever, or you know, for the first time I've actually actually tried the game out. So that way it's organic. So if I get stuff wrong, I get stuff wrong. I never said it was a tutorial. So guys, I'm going to leave it here. So thanks again for watching. Stay safe. And I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.